Can you ever walk them? No. And why not? Because they're too strong. Would you like to be able to walk them? Yes. The boys really want to walk their dogs, and I want them to be able to walk their dogs, but they've got to do so safely. All right, slow. Come here. Currently, Jack is the only person who attempts to take the dogs out. All right. Wow. I'm not sure it's ever going to be possible to walk these dogs because they have minds of their own, and they seem to want to go in opposite directions. Wow. They're strong. The dogs were so bad at walking. Jack spent most of the walk straining against the dogs just to keep himself upright. <laughs> oh, wow. Have you ever had uh, any training? Have you ever taught them how to walk or anything? No, not, not no. these guys. No. If Samson and Jordan were to walk them, I mean, they would just be pulled over, wouldn't they? They each weigh more than Samson and Jordan, and they're a lot stronger. So one pull like that, and they're going to be skipping along the pavement behind them. Do you think Barbara would like to be able to walk them? Oh, absolutely. Obviously, with her back injury, that this would just exacerbate that, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And make it worse. I've seen enough of that. We can okay. turn around. Come on, this way. Zap, come on. The dogs never get walked. The only time they come out of the front of the house is to toilet. So when they do go out for a walk, they are so incredibly overstimulated by every little sight, every little sound. The family seems to be completely out of touch. I have big doubts that Jack and Barbara really understand what their dogs need. I want to teach Jack ways that he can teach Berkeley how to walk on a leash and then use that to teach Zeppelin. The reason why I like this room is because it does have this long wall. And actually, when you're teaching a dog to heal, um, it's good to have a wall on the other side so that the dog can't veer off. The dog learns to be close to you. Victoria also adds a hand signal to the command. Heel, good girl. I like to use a vocal heel cue, but also to slap my thigh, which is a hand signal the dog has to walk close to me. Heel, good girl. Heel, good girl. Very good, yes. Okay, so I'd like you to do that. Go for it. Come on, girl. Say heel to her when she comes up to your heel. As you turn, you say, let's go. And as you're walking in the, di in the direction you want to go to, that's when you slap your thigh and say heel. Good girl. Keep to the girl. wall. Keep closer to the wall. Good girl. Come on. There. Good girl. Good. Jack is doing really well. Good girl. But suddenly, Let's go. Berkeley appears to have had enough. Let's go. Don't pull her. Wanna go? Now wait until she makes her decision. Dogs really learn when they can really make decisions for themselves. And when they make the right one, they get praised by their owner. This encourages a dog to keep making right decisions. Good girl. Like I think Berkeley has responded very well to the tools that Victoria showed me as far as walking her. Um, she's really starting to pay attention to me. And I really like that. I really like the connection you're making now with her. Berkeley really began to respond to Jack. And that's so important because if Berkeley gets more of what she needs, I think it's also going to really translate to Zeppelin. I still think it's going to be tough for you on a walk. I think it's going to take a while, but you've got it. Back at home, the boys are eager to hear how they can get involved. Your father's going to be leash training the dogs. That means he's going to be training them to walk just without pulling on a regular leash and a regular collar. But the dogs need to get out and get exercise, even when he's at work. And I want you boys to be able to do it with your mother. We're excited to be walking the dogs because we've never walked them in a long time. I'm going to give you these two harnesses. And these are special kind of harnesses we're going to put on the dogs. And these harnesses lead the dogs by the chest and not by the neck, so that when the dogs try and pull, their bodies are just brought round. There's no pain involved, there's no discomfort. Let's go. If I was walking them just with the collars on, they would pull me over, no doubt about it. Now, Barbara, as we walk, could you take the leash of Zeppelin's leash? OK. I didn't really plan on walking the dogs. That kind of threw me for a surprise. Let's go, Zeppelin. And let's use a bit of energy to get him, because if, if you go, he's going to go. Good, good. 
That's it. Barbara is really anxious because she has a lot of back problems. And this is one of the first times, really, since the dogs were puppies that she's walked them. OK, let's use your energy. Come on, say, Zeppi, let's Zeppi. Go. Let's go. Let's go, Zeppelin. Let's go. Good boy. Barbara, how does that feel to you? It feels good. He's pulling a little bit. He's kind of a little excited. Much better than him before. Zepp was a little apprehensive. He was stopping a little bit and hearing a couple of noises. Come on. Good. But for the most part, I think I did OK. Since the dogs are doing so well, Victoria lets the twins take over, but under her close supervision. You think he's pulling in his too much? Just tell me. I mean. Sammy, that's really good. How do you feel walking Zeppelin now? Is that OK for you? Yes. Yeah? You feel confident? All right. But while Zeppelin's easy to handle, Berkeley is proving more difficult. Berkeley! OK, let me take a few second. I had to take Berkeley back from the boys and walk her myself because she was far too strong for them, even with the harness on. So if they've got even a chance of walking her, I have to come up with something else. So Victoria has come up with a new solution. OK, boys, we have discovered that Zeppelin is good with the harness, but I still don't think that you're going to be able to walk Berkeley on that harness because she's still pulling too much. We're going to use this, which is rather like when you put a halter on a horse. Really, with these things, you can walk a dog just with one finger. The reason why I only like to use head collars as a last resort is because some dogs are very stressed out when they have head collars around their faces. I want her to get used to feeling this around her face. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm holding it here holding it on the other side, so she has to put her nose through the loop. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach this bit behind her head so she feels what it's like. Now, Barbara takes over. Put a treat on the other side of it, so she puts her nose through it to get the treat. Put the treat there, hold it with one hand, and as she okay. puts her nose through it, Hold it like this. Barbara's very awkward in all of her dealings with the dogs, and when it comes to putting on something like the head collar or following a simple direction, she finds it difficult. So you're holding the loop with one hand, okay. and you're holding it this with okay. the other, OK? Get the body break. I will. I'm just. Good, beautiful. I was having a little trouble. I didn't realize to hold it in one hand and put the food through with the other hand. But it was pretty simple once I got the, the hang of it. The most important thing about you and the boys walking these dogs is I know they are big, powerful dogs. Very, very strong. I want them to be able to get outside, and I want to keep you guys safe. Because believe you me, their behavior is going to be much less crazy in the house if they get to go out a lot. All right? Good. We'll see. So far, Jack has been keeping up his end of the bargain, getting the dogs out on walks twice Let's a day. Good girl. And he's already seeing a huge improvement. Good girl. Berkeley's definitely made real progress on the leash training. It makes me happy when I see Berkeley uh, walking, you know, next to my side or not pulling me down the street. Berkeley, good job. Good girl. Later in the week, Victoria checks in. I'm eager to see how Jack, Barbara, and the kids have been doing while I've been away. Today, Barbara is facing her fears and allowing the boys to take Zeppelin out for a walk. Come on, Zepp. You ready? Come on, Zeppy. Wait, no, let's just get to the street. The twins may be excited, but Zeppelin is less enthusiastic. Zeppy, come on. Good boy. Come on, Zeppy. Zeppy, come on. Barbara is certainly not a natural leader. She's far too tentative. Come on, Zeppy. Move it on the side that you're pulling. Oh, I know. Come on. <laughs> Zeppy, come on. Boo, boo, boo. You're not going to make him run. We're going to go slow. And it's not long before Zeppelin decides he's had enough. Sam, let's take him home because I don't think he's in that very good. Oh, OK. Well, let me take him. Let me, let me take him. No. Zeppy, let's go. Come on. Zeppy. Let's go. It's clear that Barbara's trying, but she's so unconfident. And Zeppelin just doesn't want to listen to her. Hold the leash. Hold the leash, OK? I'm taking this off. Just let him run home. No. Because this is ridiculous. Let go! Oh. Well, this is not working. He's not going to. No, he's going to pull! If he runs away, it's on your head. 
With Zeppelin refusing to budge, Barbara gives up and calls on Jack to bail them out. So the three of them uh, with Zepp were basically stuck on an island. So it was daddy to the rescue. So gonna scare him. No, here, give me the leash. Give me, just give me the leash. Come on, buddy. You ready? Come on, let's go in. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Despite one unsuccessful outing, Barbara soldiers on with the training, this time with Berkeley. We are going to figure this out. Good girl. Here you go. Berkeley, 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 Berkeley. Come on. It looks like Barbara's having real trouble fitting that head collar, and that is not a good sign. With the head collar finally in place, they head to the backyard. Let's go, Berkeley, let's go, come on. But they don't get far before Barbara realizes something's amiss. All right, she's not moving, so. What is she doing? The leash is attached to the wrong collar. Come on, good girl. But Barbara carries on regardless. Berkeley, come on. Hey, come on. Berkeley. What is she doing? Berkeley. When I have Berkeley out in the backyard with the head collar on, I can't really seem to get her motivated to walk. That's very frustrating. Wanna go? This way? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Unable to get Berkeley to listen. I'm done. Barbara loses her patience, and once again, she completely abandons the training. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. What a mess. Barbara needs to be so much more confident, more assertive if any of these trainings are going to work. This is freaking ridiculous, OK? I'm going to go upstairs where Jack is, and you guys can have the free run of the house. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. Barbara, you are never going to be a leader to these dogs unless you calm down. I'm on my way back. I want to work on you being more confident with the dogs in your house. But I just think your patience is wearing thin and you get frustrated. And so we're going to do stuff with the dogs today that's going to make you even more confident. I know you had trouble with, with the, the head collar. She's stuck on this hook. They are com complex to put on. We're, we'll just go over that again so you're completely confident with putting it on. I just wanted to work with Barbara on this because she's with the dogs for most of the day. If I can have a breakthrough with Barbara, I believe that everything's going to be easier for the whole family. First, Victoria lays to rest the confusion over the head collar. This is where this attaches to. Last time you had it attached, actually, to the collar. That's it. Perfect. Samson and Jordan are definitely playing a bigger active role with the dogs. Where is it? Watch it. Okay. We are having much more fun with the dogs because they listen more. Let's go. Berkeley, let's go. I'm definitely spending a lot of time with both Zeppelin and Berkeley in trying to get them to walk well on a leash. 